Welcome back to day 104 of using our trusty Rincon in order to play Breath of the Wild. And today, it uh, unfortunately is already nighttime, uh, but the plan is to scour all of Zora's domain and hopefully get at least one shrine quest completed or something. So basically, we just got to hunt down and talk to everybody that you know has an exclamation mark of some sort so that is the goal hey what up and you don't have a quest you might probably not you are here what do you need i don't need jack shit from you dog do you hmm just came to annoy me i see yep let me All right, I believe. Wait, did I went the wrong way? Because I know that there's some beds and whatnot here. Oops, sorry. I don't have anything. You don't have anything. Yeah, where the fuck do these people go at night? It does make me curious. take a free crab why not oh look that dude's over there i don't think we really need to talk to him what was that a chickaloo tree nut hmm hey you have a quest they say ruta has come down and yet and yet what ah it is you link I'm sorry, I was talking to myself. What's wrong, buddy? The truth is, my wife May left and hasn't come back yet. After the divine beast Vavruta started rampaging, she went out to go fishing like everything was normal. And now Ruta has settled down, but she still hasn't returned. I'm afraid the worst has happened. If only I had stopped her from leaving. Oh, what to do? I'll try to find her. Link. You saved Zora's domain, and now you're going to help me find my May as well? I'll try. I make no promises, but you know. You are a true champion. I am sorry to put this burden on you, but please, please bring her home. I will do my best. A wife washed away. I don't like the sound of that. Do you have anything? Seems like everybody's running this way. Is this where the sleeping quarters are or something? Look it up. Hmm. Hi, Lian. To think that you were able to appease Ruta, you turned out to be a pretty incredible guy. Yeah, I try. In fact, I wonder if you can do this too. Exterminate the Hinos by Rally's Pond. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, in that case, give it a try. For he who saved the domain, there should be a piece of fish cake. Go on, I'm counting on you. Okay. I'm pretty easy to take care of, not gonna lie. Oh god, that's a lot deeper of a pit than I thought it would be. Um, hello? Yo, what up? Oh, Link, it seems I was wrong about you. Seeing divine bees. Oh, it's you, huh? Wait, no, this isn't the same dude. No, because the other dude was like actually a mental ray face. Like, not flappy kind of thing. Seeing divine beast Varuda's form there. Even though we lost Lady Mifa, it seems she can still help you fight against Calamity Ganon. Oh, I am sorry I did not introduce myself sooner. I am Giato. How's it going, Amang? I am a historian who studies Zora history and preserves it for future generations. The Twitch is embarked now? Oh, that's good. Even so, this stone monument that King Dorfian supposedly wrote, it's torn to pieces now. Most likely, the ten stone monuments outside of the domain are in the same awful condition. I'm thinking about collecting the contents of all the stone monuments and compiling them into a book. But with these old legs and fins, traveling to all ten stone monuments will make a great deal of time. That is why, Link, I'd like to ask you a favor. 
I'd like you to find all ten stone monuments around Zora's domain and tell me what they say. Yeah, sure. I'll put it on my list to do at some point, maybe potentially. Oh, thank you. You truly are a lifesaver. How reassuring that the champion will search for those monuments for me. I have it on good authority that among the stone monuments, one has the location of some treasure written on it. If you happen to find said treasure, feel free to keep it. It will most likely be something that Azora wouldn't need anyways. Ah, yes, you'll find the ten stone monuments around Zora's domain. I believe in you, champ. In fact, I am counting on you. Okay, it's just a silly little sign quest. That of the heart of the who did Oh, the Zora helmet. That's what it's gonna be. Okay. I guess we do need that to complete that set at some point. Wait, where's that kid going? Okay, he jumped into the water. Oh, you don't have anything anyways, damn it. What about you? Nope. What about you? Nope. Right. What about? Shut. You. No. All right. right. <gasps> is that who I think it is? It is. Oops. The one and only. <clears throat> Oops, I slipped. Okay, um. I need to talk to you. Let's see if anybody's up by. Oh, wait, who are you? Oh, you're just. Your men. Turns out I'm just really dumb. Who would have guessed? Amazing. I think we already did your quest, right? Yeah. yeah. Right, I'm going to see if I could like force you to fall. Damn. All right, let's go pack to the king. See if he's got anything for us. No. Oh, okay. Um, there's a book. Read Mifa's diary. Sure. At the request of Hyrule's king, a group of outsiders came to greet us at the domain. One of them was a Hylian child of only about four years of age. His name was Link. Wait, so Mifa's like really old compared to us? Hmm. He made quite a first impression, I must say. He was curious and full of energy, with a ready smile. Are all Hylian children that way? One thing that surely sets him apart is his swordsmanship, which I hear is exceptional. He is even best of the adults. He must be somewhat reckless, however. He was covered in bruises. Wishing him to be helpful, I healed his wounds for him. It must have been uh, his first time seeing healing magic. As he looked up at me with big round eyes, it was adorable, honestly. A divine beast was excavated from Zora's domain. This one is called Varuta. The first time I laid eyes on Ruta, I was surprised by how cute it was. It's so big and round with a long, awkward nose. According to the Sheikah who found Ruta, divine beasts require someone worthy to control them. It's fun imagining someone piloting this enormous beast in the distant past. I wonder who will have that honor next. Probably not me, but, you know, who knows. Link came to visit the domain today. It feels like forever since he was last here. He no longer resembles the child I first met long ago. He is now an accomplished knight and keeper of the sword that seals the darkness. I am so proud of him. However, he hardly speaks anymore and smiles... Even more rarely. He is still the kind soul I once knew, but something about him has changed. I asked him if something had happened, if something was wrong. He merely shook his head. 
It sounds like Link. Perhaps it is his newly acquired height, but I feel he is ever looking past me into the distance beyond. The princess of Hyrule said a special visit, paid a special visit to the domain. She asked me if I would agree to pilot a divine beast. She told me she needs my help to face the calamity. My heart knew at once what to do. I said, no, fuck you. Uh, just kidding. I agreed without reservation. Calamity again, it must not be resurrected. If he is, there is no way to ensure the safety of my people or of anyone. I do not know what will happen. All I know is that there is... Is that... Blah, blah, blah. All I know is that if there is anything I can do to help, I must try. I must protect Hyrule. There is also that... The Divine Beasts are meant to assist the Chosen Hero when he faces Ganon. In this way, I can help Link. Mm. Link came to visit me today. It had been ages. I told him of the Lionel of Poemus Mountain has been terrorizing everyone lately. When I said that, he started walking toward the mountain without a single word. Spellbound, I followed him there. When we were almost there, he told me to turn back. He insisted he would be fine on his own. I stubbornly stayed. When I argued, the Lionel attacked us from behind. I was sure we had met our end. That was silly of me to doubt my handsome little Link. I mean, uh, what? With a sure hand and a fierce gleam in his eye, Link unsheathed the sword that seals the darkness and defeated our foe. His swordmanship was swift and graceful. I was fascinated by the beauty of his movements. Though I should have been terrified, I could not help but feel safe in the presence of my dear friend Link. His kindness and determination to help those in need, his strength and skill, my heart is drawn to his. I am doomed. The last beautiful move Link performed on the mountain is called the Spin Attack. Perhaps I will attempt it with my spear. Father has finally given me his blessing for me to pilot the Divine Beast. The threat of the Calamity can no longer be ignored. Father said that Zora must play their own part. He seemed on the brink of tears when he made me promise to return unharmed. My eyes burned with tears as well. So I simply just nodded. Sagan could hardly look at me. Muzu left partway through. That grumpy old man. I feel awful for putting them through this, but I must do what I can to help my lover Link. I could never forgive myself otherwise. Speaking of Link, I have at last finished gathering the materials for the armor. I shall start making it at once. My throat is going to hurt. <clears throat> Today was the inaugurational ceremony of at Hyrule Castle. It was an honor to take part. However, honestly, I do not remember much about it because, but only because something unforgettable happened afterward. I experienced something wondrous, a beautiful moment in time I shall treasure forever. I am grateful to the princess for agreeing to my request and to Druk for, um, well, bring me closer to Link, of course. Oh, I did hear something that sh shocked me enough to almost overshadow that happy little moment. Link has been chosen to guard the princess wherever she goes. They shall be spending much time together. Uh, I finally completed that special armor for Link. I am confident it will fit him perfectly. He is coming to the domain soon. I hope to give him my gift when I see him, but should I really go through with it? According to the old legend, long ago, a Zora princess fell in love with a Hylian swordsman. Perhaps there is hope. This will be a rare occasion that Link is not accompanying the princess. We should have some time to our little selves. Oh, I have an idea. At sunset, I shall ride upon Luta with Link. Zora princess of the past, please lend me your courage. Nice. All right. Why is it not letting me actually deploy my shoot? Um, I guess people just don't go to sleep in the Zora domain. Just fine by me. Let's go this way. Uh, 
hello, Chess. Ark. A silver bow. Nice. All right, let's go visit this weirdo. Yeah, what up? This smell. Is it a chucho or perhaps? Oh, it is Link. Oh, it's just you. Good evening. How may I help you? Um. Spend some money. Your current balance is 264 man, one monster gear. Would you like to buy? A wooden map. Um. A Lionel mask. Hmm. I guess nothing. I forgot that he really doesn't have anything. Monster gear is awesome. I mean the brittle and saddle and whatnot. Wait, would is this what we need to saddle a um a skeleton horse? Do we actually like need these? I think we probably do, huh? Which means we're gonna need to sell some stuff. You can buy some at the horse places. I don't wanna sell scales. Um yeah, but I'm talking about like for skeleton horses. Do we need these for skeleton horses? Since they're monstrous ones? Or will normal ones work? Oh, they are just special cut. Okay, that's what I thought. Because I don't really... Oops. Wrong script. I don't really care that much about it, to be honest. Die! Hey! Get pranked. I think you can tame a skeleton horse, but we need a skeleton horse for one of the shrines. It did have like hearts and whatnot when we rode one once. So I'm hoping that we can. Otherwise, that's gonna be really obnoxious. Um But we'll see. Okay, so what other village is there apart from the Korok village? I suppose... Like, we could go visit all the stables. We already went there. We did go to Hat, no? Yeah. Um... So, like, we could go visit the bazaar. I don't know if there's anything there. A Yiga clan, but I don't think that has anything. Okay. So, yeah, let's go here and then we'll make our way to the bazaar and see if there's any shrine quests to be had there. Otherwise, legitimately don't know because there, there are some shrines that I just don't know how to access. We just haven't been able to figure it out yet. Okay, so we need to go... That way? Yeah. Obviously our bike won't work all the way, but yeah. You know, can't register in the stable, but all you have to do for that quest is take a picture of one. Oh, it's just take a picture of one? Really? I thought we had to be mounting one. Is it really just as simple as have a fucking picture of it? Yeah, mount the beast upon its throne for only then the shrine is seen. 
Because I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about the shrine quest, the crown beast. So that must just be a different one. Okay. So yeah, I guess I'll just need to bring it over once I get one. And stunts. Six stun. Okay, Link, you can you can stop just. Um. Give me stun boots, please. I don't know what the button combo is anymore. You really want to fight? Idiot. Give me your rupees. Oh, you're just one of those. Okay. Give me your rupees and your bananas. And you hear about towers there's a girl that wants a photo of one. Oh gotcha. Yeah, I was just talking about the shrine quest. Cause I don't know how much I can actually care about the full quest. Or side quests, I should say. I mainly just want to get all the shrines done. Okay. I know it's still middle of the night. Hey. But let's see. Anybody has... You can't register one, but you can ride one. There's a couple horses like that. Gotcha. Ah, mythical horses. Well, aren't they fancy? Oh, you're sleeping. Wake up. And you have a quest. I think we might have already done it. Hey. Hey. And while the divine beast has settled down, the desert is still full of monsters. You should stay on your guard. Okay. Beetle. Oh, we mean again. What are you looking for? Or are you selling? What are you selling? Um. So you're selling six. Or you're selling 20 and six a piece. Or bundle of 10. I still feel like those are. Better. Are you fresh out? That's fine. The cold diner. Yeah, I figured those were. I don't necessarily care about them though. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hope to see you again soon. Same. Um. I guess there is this house, and then there's the person up above. Is going? Now I know I just bought arrows. But you are selling them for cheaper than silly little beetle. Now right, let's go visit this lovely person up here. Truck arrows are not. Yeah, we already have a bunch. If I remember right. Oh my, it's you. You came back. Thought I'd find some troubled merchants around here and trade with them. But for some reason, I can't take my eyes off that divine beast. You know? It was a bit of effort on my part to pick out just the right clothes for you. To see you in that outfit now, would you like to change back into your Gerudo clothing? Uh, sure. Hmm, hold on a second. I knew it. You look adorable. Absolutely adorable. 
Just so adorable. Thank you. Tee <laughs> Anyways, Savork. Okay, that's... You just wanted to watch me change. Got it. Okay. A little creepy, but that's fine. Um... Well, shit. Yeah. Yeah, we figured it out. I mean, you kind of have to when we get into Gerudo Town, huh? Um... Shit. I guess the only place... That we haven't like double slash triple checked for shrine quests is the bird place, right? Yeah. I think she's there, BB. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, we're basically going for like all the shrines, but I'm trying to do it without looking. Um, so we'll see how that ends up going, I suppose. Part of me is actually thinking, um, if we go to the Sand Beast, maybe we can get a Gerudo thing off of that. So yeah, let's try that. Why not? We need the Gerudo Skimitar. When the wind it assumes blows their dresses goes up and Link blushes. Yeah, that sounds about right. Ah, oh, damn, we don't have her. We don't have Ravali. Ladies, then get off the wall. Yeah, there definitely is a lot of goofy stuff. Give hey, what up? Mm hmm. Boy, howdy, do I? I don't need a shield, but let's seal the deal. <laughs> Right, where do we need to go again? I don't even fucking remember. I want to say it's west, essentially. Hey. Have you parried a guardian? I think so. I know it's very hard to do with a rincon, but I'm pretty sure we have. Um. Okay, we're going a little bit off. I want to say it's right there. Those rocks? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay, so... The Molduga should show up here in a second. Um... Oops. In which... I'm gonna want bomb. And let's go for. An attack up of 12, of uh, 15. Uh, this is. Yeah, okay, never mind. Red sword is still better. I don't, okay, there we go. Just gonna say, I don't remember how to get off. Where is it? Oh, it's already gone? Rivali's Thank you, Ravali. Let's go to the center one then. Oh, goody. Some friends. Nice. 
Hey, where is the Muldoogie? Wait for it to pop again. Hopefully. I think we can bait it if we just shoot like that, right? No, I I really hope you didn't just fucking despawn on my ass. I'm going to be really upset if you just despawned and we wasted all that damage and whatnot. Okay. Oh, you're way over there. What the fuck? Wait, you like the other rock better? Fine, I'll go over there. Jesus. So picky. There's just some rocks over here, too. Alright, I need to, like, turn off the fucking script in order to throw. Which is really kind of obnoxious. Dang it. Right as I was about to throw. Now where the heck did the Mulduga go? What the f... What? What the fuck? Oopsie. Are you fucking kidding me? It's just- oh? Did you just jump onto that dog? What the fuck? It did. Interesting. It also might end up dropping all of it loot, all of its loot inside that fucking rock now. Never mind. We're good. The chest might be inside though. Which sucks because that's the part that I actually need. Is this toasty rash room? Okay. God damn it. Really? The game glitches out and I suffer for it. Damn it. All right. Where's the other one? Really far to the north. Damn it. Just need a skimitar, man. Yeah, thanks, Nintendo. You son of a bitch. Taking it out on you. You're welcome. Damn, now they're gonna come into my chat and be like, what the fuck? Yeah, they're, they're just gonna come in and be like, yeah, we know. They never show up again. Alright, I wanna say... Thank you, Turbosa. Yeah, I wanna... Oh, jeez, I got the hiccup burps. I want to say it's over there. Of course, we got to fly because we already lost our sand seal. 
Because I didn't think we would need two. We'll undo it after. This one's already on us, that's not good. Ow. I thought that counted. Does it not actually count? Maybe it needs to be a bomb arrow? I mean, that should cause some fucking vibrations. Oh, what am I doing? Herbosa. Yeah, okay. We did it. And people are scared of this thing. All right, give me a Gerudo Skimitar, please. Bitch. Ah, shit ass. I think there is another one somewhere. I just don't remember where. Uh, so that kind of sucks. Okay. Let us go back to Rita Village and scour that. I want to say it's Rita Village, right? Scour that for any potential shrine questers. Hopefully we can find at least one. Um, and then otherwise, I think, I think we're just gonna have to start visiting all the outposts and whatnot. Give me the fucking thing, you stinky sandworm. Yeah. Oh shit. Hey, look, it's all the kids. Because of what you did, everyone's happy to see you again. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. Glad you got a beautiful singing voice. Link, stab. Give me stab. Pillar in the sky. I agree. Anyway, see ya. It's Pennywise in bird form. Oh god. Move it up. You got a quest for me? No? <gasps> you do. Ah, hello. Hey. I heard that Divine Beast Famado has been appeased. It just sends my heart a soaring. And you realize I had started singing this old song. Did you hear me singing it? Uh, no, did you to me? Oh, uh, well, that's really embarrassing, actually. Oh, boy. Um, hmm. <clears throat> the pride of Rito, pillar in the sky. Its hearts light up when the sun is high. Pillar in the sky, its hearts light up when the sun is high. Ah, uh, there's more to the song, but I forget the rest. You should ask my sister, Laisa, if you want to know the rest. It's a shrine quest. What was just singing the Pillar in the Sky song? It was just, it was you, right? Hey, you. Oh, hello. So Bet Oli told you I would sing the last half of the ancient Reno song, huh? Her memory really is the worst. I can help you, but there is a catch. Recite the first half for memory and I will teach you the second half. I'll give it a shot. Go ahead. The pride of Rito. That's correct. Okay, can I just sing it, please? Pillar in the sky. Ah, right again. Lady, you want me to recite it? It's hearts light up. Well done. Now for the final line. Okay, you know what? When the sun is high, there, you happy? Ah, you got every word right. 
Well, a promise is a promise. I'll teach you the last half of the song. The heart shines upon a path not all, but a warming flame can stir its soul. You have a really good singing voice. You must be related to the bluebird over there. The heart shines upon a path not whole, but flame can stir its soul. That's the second half of the ancient Rito song. Oh God, God, your voice. Profound, ain't it? Yeah, it's something. Okay. So the pride of Rito has a pillar in the sky. It will light up when the sun is probably at the highest. The heart shines upon a path that is not whole, but a warming flame can stir its soul. Okay. I want to track that. Hmm. So that to me... implies if we go all the way up bird butt oh hey these are bomb errors, and I do not want to be using bomb errors for this. Huzzah! You found me! Mm-hmm. Bye bye The heck is that? We found it. Holy shit. I don't know if it meant this spot in particular, but... Yo, what up, Yuga Clan? Oh, we don't have... Ow. Good attempt, good attempt. Um... Flame? Fuck. Oh, and we don't even have Rivalis? Okay. Hmm. Like, I assume it would be here, right? Because that's the pillar in the sky. You can be fun. Or, uh, sorry. Um. Oh, God, not Mifa. Uh. Uh. Verbosa. I mean, there is some stuff there. Wonder if we just have to wait for it to like be noon, essentially. Hmm. Guess we can't pick that up. There's a campfire there that we might just be able to rest at. If we sneak to it. If not, we'll just have to herbosa.
No. Ah, there are enemies nearby. Dang. Where are they? I don't even see them. Now, can I sleep? Until noon, please. And then that should put it at its high point. So we should be able to just run back real quick. Theoretically. Part of me is also thinking I might need a torch to be lit. Never mind. Wait, no, I was right. Okay, yeah. Whew. Nice. So we got one. Good. Arise from the ashes. <sighs> the ancient Rito song complete. The Barita Nag Shrine. Hopefully this is just a blessing and we can just breeze on through. It's not. Damn it. Cannon? Oh no. We don't have health for this. God speed. Now we just got to do it again. First try. <laughs> Hell yeah. We did it. Easy peasy. And if we could finish or continue for more. Oops. Ooh, this time everything is moving. Oh boy. Oh, fuck, that was close. I didn't think we were going to hit that. Good thing we're just a badass, so, you know. Yeah. Karate kick. Oh, diamond. It was kind of worth it. And now we go collect our bounty. So we can full heal and all that fun stuff. Hey, yo, congrats on launching some balls at some platforms on your first go. Have a tiny ball in order to remind yourself of your heroic actions. Anyway, see ya. Thank you, babe. So we did get one shrine done, as well as find a shrine quest. 
Um, so that's good. Um, yeah. I think what we'll probably end up doing next time is going to all the outposts because those can sometimes give us shrine quests. Um, is there still like 10 more shrine quests, I think, right? Yeah, there are 10 shrine quests and we have two of them, which is the perfect drink, which I'm pretty sure we're going to need the Gerudo Skimitar for. And then the crown beast where we need a skeleton horse. And then there's 10 more. So there's got to be at least some at the um, outposts. I don't know how many outposts there are. If there's 10 outposts, that means that there's a shrine quest for each one. Because I don't know if we've gotten any. I think we've gotten one. I just don't remember which. So yeah, we'll, we'll just have to uh, go visit all of them, I suppose. But hey, if you want to watch it live... We do stream Breath of the Wild live on Twitch, so head in that description down below if you're on YouTube and uh, drop a follow if you want. Otherwise, uh, just lurk about till I go live. It's normally around like 6, 6, 6 to 6.30 p.m. Eastern is when I go live at night. Um, so, you know, feel free to stop by anytime then and uh, Breath of the Wild streams. I don't know if I said this already, but I'm just going to say it again just to be on the safe side are every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And then there's a new YouTube video out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday if you want to just stay on YouTube. And um, if you want to get a notification as soon as it goes live, why not go ahead and show me just how crazy bananas you are by taking a bite of some mighty bananas and dinging that little bell in order to get a notification as soon as the video goes live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If I didn't already say that, but I'm pretty sure I did. I'm losing my mind. And with that, I'll see y'all next time. Okay, bye.